Hello everyone. I'm up in Yellowstone National Park today and it's quite a drive from my house so I really don't want to run into town in order to get something to eat. So I got myself one of these uh, stoves. It's like a jet boil but about half the cost. It's called a hike crew. It consists of uh, a top area here that you, you can cook in. It has a cap. It contains a pot attachment that usually you have to pay extra for, like with the jet boil. And then it has the burner attachment that goes on to the bottom. So today I'm going to cook my lunch out here and then I'm going to go back to work. So let's take a look at how this works and see if I can get a fairly decent lunch out of it. Okay, we're back. Going to attach this onto the bottom of my pot. And then I've got this fuel canister of isobutane. Uh, first, I guess I have to put this out. And then thread the canister on here. Which is pretty easy. And then there is also a support thing for your canister. I'm working on top of a tabletop here, so I probably don't need this. But hey, it came with the, the thing, so let's go ahead and attach it. All right, inside this pot, I'm going to add some water. This is just regular drinking water. probably a lot more than I need. And then we're going to turn on the gas and light it. It has a piezo ignition thing, so it lights pretty easily. Uh, I could even sit here and warm my hands right now, it's so nice. I'm put the cap back on. You notice I do have my bear spray with me. We're located in the middle of bear territory. The sign behind me says Gallatin National Forest. This is just outside Yellowstone National Park. So we're going to sit here and we're going to boil up some water. Let me get some food out of the back of the car. I have a cooler in the back of my car, and in the cooler I've got some chicken, and along with the chicken I've got a bottle of ice, and then I've got a regular freezer bag and some Raymond noodles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Raymond noodles into the freezer bag. them up a little bit. Put the trash in my pocket. Don't want that to end up on the ground. While we're waiting on the water to boil, I'll get out some of this chicken and we'll break it up. This is already cooked chicken. I'm just going to break this up and put this in here with the, uh, the noodles. And this will become my lunch. 
be kind of a noodle chicken uh, soup type thing. The hot water will cook the noodles and also heat up the chicken a little bit. I'm keeping my eyes open for bears. And there we go. I use wet wipes to clean my hands with. Wow. This is real time. I haven't turned off the thing at all and it's already boiling. This thing is quick. Turn the water off. Take the cap off. Take my bag of noodles. kind of fits onto the base and then turns. Okay, I think that's enough. Let the air out and seal this up for a couple minutes. Let it cook. Pretty easy to do. I'm impressed with this little stove. While I'm waiting on this to cook, let's take a look at this uh, attachment that you can use to put a frying pan on top of here, like a little eight inch frying pan or so. So it's just a piece of metal, but it fits in here. like that, and that way you can put a larger pan on top of here. It separates it from the top of the base. You put your frying pan on there, and you can fry yourself up some eggs or some bacon or whatever it is you'd like to do. With the jet boil, this comes as an accessory. I think it's like uh, 10 bucks or something like that. But with this little hike crew thing, it came included. I'm pretty impressed. The hike crew does have a neoprene thing on the outside and even though the water is still really hot inside I can hold it with my hand or you can hold it with the handle however you like to do. I'll put the cap back on it. Let's take a look at our dinner. Oh, I think we're done here. All right. Let me save the rest of my water. And this is already cool. We take this off the canister. The canister does not leak, so you don't have to cap it in any way. And then this little base just comes off, goes inside the, the burner attachment, goes inside here. This little attachment goes on top of the burner attachment. The cap goes back on top of there and then you just swing this around and then the cap does have a little latch here. Right here on top, a little spring-loaded latch. That works real well. Let me see if I can find a fork and I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Oh, it does have a little mesh bag that you see here makes it real good for camping and stuff. Kind of keep everything all in the same place. 
I think the jet boil retails for I think a hundred bucks right at ninety nine dollars and then that little frying pan things an extra ten dollars or so this one from hike crew I think is fifty to sixty dollars and that frying pan attachment thing comes along with it still don't see any bears out here I think I can eat my supper let me find a fork Here's the frying pan I would use with it. It's a 7.6 inch frying pan, good enough for doing eggs and stuff like that. I'm just going to use it to hold my bag. I don't have uh, a bowl or something like that yet. That's something else I still need to add to my kit. I'm just now learning uh, what supplies I need when I'm out on these longer photo adventures. So let's take a taste of this and see if it's okay. Wow, it's really good. I didn't add the package of mix that comes with the Raymond noodles because that's usually a bunch of salt and MSG and stuff like that. And I think the chicken and the noodles taste fine all by itself. So I thank you for joining me today. Uh, I wish I could let you have some of this, but uh, you're not here today. Maybe next time you'll come. If you would, hit the like icon and subscribe to our channel for a lot more content. We do videos about tiny houses and wildlife photography. Uh, this really isn't wildlife photography, but you do have to eat, and this kind of saves you a little bit of money going into town. Also saves you a lot of time. So I'll see you guys back in a couple days. Thank you so much.